There has been a lot of talking about the server built into the Waves LV1 Classic versus the Extreme server that I use in my setup. And since I just caved and bought the LV1 Classic, I thought let's compare the two and see what the difference is. So the debate has been, uh, yes, the Classic shows more CPU usage than the Extreme server. However, it calculates plugin resources in a different way. But the only thing that really matters is how many plugins can I run before I can hear some dropouts or crackling. So right now I have the same session running on both systems and running virtual playback. On this side I have the, the uh, custom LV1 with the Waves Extreme server. And let's have a look at the uh, information of the server. You can see it right here. On this side uh, I have the Waves Classic with the built-in server and the server info is right there. And as you can see right now, my custom build is at 40% CPU power. However, it's not really used in the three first cores. And that's something I've been seeing lately that the server is not really used in the first three cores uh, and I'm not sure why. However, uh, right now we are at 40%. On the Classic, we are at uh, 58%. However, the cores are spread out more evenly. And I want this test to be as close to a real world uh, example as possible. So I will just start adding plugins that kind of make sense that you would add in a live uh, situation and then just have a listen and uh, yeah, we'll see when, when it breaks. All right, so I've added a lot of plugins and I finally got the classic to break. So uh, right now we are at 94% uh, on the classic, 68 on the on, on this one, and uh, it works flawlessly, uh, not a dropout, not a click or a crackle or uh, nothing. Then when I add one more reverb, it all falls apart and it sounds like this. So it's quite obvious that we are in overload and if we go into the setup we can see that we have some errors and uh, still counting. So if we turn this one off, uh, disable this one and then reset this one. Uh, yeah, now we are good to go again. Even though six of the eight cores are showing red, the sound is still perfect. Uh, I can't hear any crackle or, or dropouts or uh, anything. Right now, at about 94%, it's still fine. This one with the exact same thing, we are at uh, 67. So let's go ahead and add even more stuff uh, on this one and see uh, how much we can add before it breaks. And I think from this point on, I will only add uh, H verbs. All right, so adding just one more H verb, I got this exact same uh, result with the with the crackling. And looking at the cores, yeah, this is kind of interesting. That four of the cores are uh, are peaking, and two of the cores are not even in use. Not sure why. Actually, let's disable this one to get back to a working scenario. Right now, it sounds all right. I will do a total restart of the whole thing and see if the cores are spread out more evenly. All right, so uh, restart of the whole system and the, the server as well. Well, the load is perhaps even worse. Let's remove this one and just try to add the other extreme server that I have in, in my system. And 
let's see now it's kind of the same uh, it doesn't seem to want to use the first three cores uh, the sound however is fine I think yeah and let's try to add this uh, H verb again let's see what happens Right, so after the restart, I managed to have one more H verb, but the next one broke the, the whole system. I am still, however, at a total of 60%, uh, but it's not evenly spread out. So, uh, so right now, basically the same performance of both these. If Waves managed to fix the, the problem with the cores, potentially the uh, Extreme server uh, will have a bit more uh, power. All right, I'm sure there will be questions about this, so leave a comment and take care.